This is uh, the Flintstones Surprise at Dinosaur Peak. I believe this is the second Flintstones game for the NES and also happens to be very rare. And this was a, um, the, the reason this was rare apparently was because this was a game that was made exclusively for Blockbuster Video. Wow, what, what a, a difference. difference. <laughs> because the original game was uh, Dino and Hoppy. Uh, for I, I never knew the subtitle uh, Rescue of, of Dino and Hoppy. I was I was just called it the Flintstones. Flintstones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it's like the, the Gilligan's Island. Do you ever call it the Adventures of Gilligan's Island? Well, isn't it cool that after all this time, we're finally playing a lot of... Like, we're slowly getting around to playing this all This is why I wanted had, to like, do James and Mike yeah. Mondays, so that we could yeah, finally I mean, play all these games. We have uh, 52 Mondays in the year, yeah. so there, there's... Uh, 52 games. A lot of opportunities Can to... Can you jump on that flagpole? Tr uh, try uh, to. <laughs> maybe not, but I bet you can... If you slide down the thing and then jump, you can jump to that next platform. Oh, look! Ooh! Barney. You know, the Flintstones was like one of the first sitcom, like adult sort of cartoons. Mm -hmm. And then the Simpsons came along and they kind of oh, replaced yeah. the Flintstones in a way. There, There's a pretty big gap, but I think there is. Uh, like the Flintstones was made more for adults. Um, it's not like they, they don't swear. It's, it's nothing like dirty in it, but sometimes I think they're smoking cigarettes or, or well, you know, the, was, there was, there there used was to be commercial, commercials. Yeah. The Chesterfield cigarettes and, and Fred Fred's smoking, like the, smoking the, cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird to think that, but that's how they would advertise yeah. them. A lot of TV shows back in the day would have only one commercial where well, it was like, it was basically they were, had this one sponsor and like the whole episode was about that. And they would have characters from the show advertise the product. And um, Cigarettes weren't as frowned upon back then. They no. were actually looked upon to be glamorous. It's look at the graphics on that boulder, by the way. Yeah, what about it? Looks doesn't like that shit. look... Well, it looks like shit. Yeah, it looks like a fucking rabbit turd. But doesn't it actually look... Oh, of course, yeah. Doesn't... Doesn't the shading on it actually look really good in comparison to like everything else? It almost doesn't. It looks like Super Nintendo. Maybe this is just me. Maybe I'm going crazy. Um, but I feel like the shading on the boulder is really fucking good. <laughs> I don't know. It, yeah. it looks really good to me. Yeah. Whoever designed that boulder like put in some extra hours. Yeah, the the, the shit looks good. <laughs> oh. That's some good looking shit right you know, there. No matter how good shit looks, it it's never still looks good. shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> We we have a bachelor degree in fine arts and we talk about shit. Yeah, we have a BA. We should have had a BM. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm an idiot. E Barney. Ah, uh, you're right. Do you, is, don't you find that kind of weird that? What would be the difference between Fred and Barney that one of them is able to hold onto a pole and... Fred is too... he's too heavy. Mm. Barney's kind of... he's... well, I don't know. Barney doesn't look like he's in the best shape either. <laughs> huh. You probably just go when it, the fire's gone. All right. Yeah. Fred's the one that climbs up yeah. for some reason. Well, Barney climbs on the wires, mm -hmm. apparently. They both have very specific climbing skills. Yeah. Maybe the pterodactyls can help you out. The pterodactyls. I always used to wonder, like, why the hell is there a P? And you know what? Nobody even uses the word. Uh, like, you know, dinosaurs, it, some, so much information about dinosaurs changes. Like, now brontosauruses apparently didn't exist. You know, stuff like that. Um, you know, Pluto's not a planet anymore. All that type of stuff. <laughs> I forget. So now when you teach your kids, you don't teach them that there's nine planets Now I teach them, okay, like, uh, uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, uh, Mars, Jupiter, uh, Saturn, Neptune, and... You missed one. Saturn, Neptune, what I miss? I, I didn't miss Pluto... That's not a planet. Okay, Th there's... Which one did you miss? Which one did I miss? Now I want to know. Um, you want okay. me to tell no, you? No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Um, it should be one that should right. be very obvious to you. Oh, of course. Of course. Uranus. <laughs> <Yeah>. Uranus. <laughs> I was waiting for it. And then people say Uranus. You know, Now it sounds like you're saying urine. So either way, I think you're fucked with that planet. Uranus. Urine. And no matter how many times it's explained to me, like why Pluto's not a planet, it's has something to do with the orbit or something. Still, I'm always kind of confused. I'm always just like, Oh, I what? thought, wasn't it because it was like, it's too small or it's made of ice or something? I don't even know. I don't know. think it has to do with the size. So is it still called Pluto? Yeah, it's still Pluto. Whatever it is, it's still Pluto? Yeah, it's Pluto, but now it's classified as something other than a planet. I don't know what, like a... Was it named after the dog? 
What was it named after the dog? I don't know. I, I would assume the dog came after, but I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, what was discovered? I mean, I know Pluto was the, was the last to be discovered. Pluto was well, the when 30s. Was, when was Mickey? 30s. Yeah. Uh, so, Mickey's was like well, late 20s. Yeah, okay. Discovery date of Pluto the planet, February 18th, 1930. The first Pluto cartoon was September 5th, 1930. The planet was named February 1930, so the planet came first. So the dog was named from the planet. All right, I believe. that's what I thought. Unless Pluto was in comics before. Oh, you're right. You gotta look up. So I don't know. This would be a good question well, for my look friend up, Dave. Look, look up the yeah. He'd, he'd know for sure. He probably know look all up, this off the top of his head. Look up the patent. Look up the copyright on Pluto. <sighs> I hate bouncing spring things in video games. Oh, yeah. I'm never good at it. That reminds me of Super Mario World. It'd be fun to play that again sometime. The game's so... Long? Good, but it's so easy. If you play it now, like, yeah, that, that you, you have so much experience in games, that's gonna yeah. be easy. But back then, that was just right, I think. The, it was. Try to, th This is gonna drive you nuts. Right. Just... You gotta just, like... I don't know. I don't know how to do this because I didn't do it earlier. Yeah, exactly. Like the the problem is that monkey right now. Like you're gonna have trouble. Yeah, if you can get that monkey out of the picture, so that you could learn how to do that. But I don't know. Yeah, you can't. Can you jump and do that or? I don't get how to. Exactly. It's really hard. Okay. What you have to do is hold jump. Yeah, hold it and don't let go. And then while you're holding it, oh. you got it. You hit up. It's really... It's really fucking bad. Wait, I gotta figure this out. So... Jump? Okay, all you gotta do is hit A to get up there. And then I hit up. Hold it, yeah, then you hit up. But, but the you problem look, yeah. is that when you get up there... He doesn't just stand You there. have to jump to the next one. To jump to the next one, you have to let go of A. If you let go of A, you fall. So you have to do it really quick. And if you stand too long, you fall. Basically anything you do, you fall. This sucks. So Otherwise, have, pretty decent game, but this is a... Uh, this part. You would think when you get up there, you could just stand up there, but yeah, you can't. You, nope. You have to do it quick. Mm-hmm. And you can't, you can't, like... And there's a monkey throwing shit yeah, at you, so... This is it's awful. probably liter literally shit. Wow, no wonder they didn't fucking release this game. <laughs> yeah! There you go. You at least got him out of there. Kill so the monkey. Could, now you could... It's still around. hard! <laughs> yeah. Regardless of the monkey, it's just hard <laughs> to do it. Enjoy. Oh, it's so bad! Yep, they were monkeying around with the controls. They were. <gasps> Ooh. And, and you killed him, anyway. dude! And you took him out! Oh my god. <laughs> At least you went down, you know. Alright, your turn. Alright. You, you do up and B, and then he throws it. Oh, you don't have it. Don't have what? You don't have the um, hammer thing that they uh, have. Oh, okay. Well, I got him anyway, so. Yeah. Mm! It's so bad. I hate it? this. There's gonna be a monkey right ah, there. I know. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. What, did he take more than one? I think he blocked it with his shit. <laughs> he blocked it. Good luck on this, because if you fall, you're dead. Oh my god, you made it. Wow, you're doing good. Good job, James. Mm. Oh! Spiders! Kill him! Oh! Okay. Whoa. Good job. <laughs> you're doing great. Did you get a pie? Uh. uh do I jump on the bird? And what is this, a leap of faith? Serious? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna assume the trees are rooted in the ground, right? Let's but they see. could be going... They could be there going go. down into nothing. Too. They could. They could very well. All you right. know how these games are. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, oh, it's the boss! Oh. Get up there, get up there! Do you think that's hurting him, or...? He's flashing, so I would imagine. Oh, shit. How would you spawn? Could you imagine fighting a Triceratops? Oh, it's Dodongo. Oh, yeah. It's a Nintendo game. It, it, it is Dodongo. He's making his second appearance. Because he is yellow, too, in, in <laughs> Zelda, so. isn't he? I guess, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's this. It's. Dodongo's talent agent it's got the, him into a new it, NES game. Confirmed, it's Dodongo. He had a good agent. <laughs> he had an okay agent. He got yeah, one. He got one, one, really got into good two, game. one. One game. He got into one more thing. And then another good game, but with yeah. some issues. 
Well, Dodongo was in Ocarina in that time as well, so he made a comeback. You guys a good agent, The Rock. Oh my god. <laughs> He's got the best agent in the world, because all he does is shitty movies, complete, but somehow he complete, gets in more and more movies. A complete filmography full of shitty movies. N name me a good rock movie. And by the way, now it's hockey. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck happened? Look at this. This is the surprise at Dinosaur Peak. <laughs> you didn't know you were going to be playing <laughs> hockey. <laughs> you didn't know the game was going to turn into fucking Blades of Steel. <laughs> This is actually not a bad game. Yeah. It's a shame that this is so rare. It's got some bad interlacing issues, though. Uh-huh. But, you know, it's an NES game. Yeah, that I, can, I, I, can... bet, I bet that's gonna be fun when you're editing this part. Oh, <laughs> you're probably yeah. not gonna even see anything. <laughs> you, know, you know what's a good one? Uh, you play, like, the Cavemen sports games. Oh, I did. Caveman games? Caveman games, I did. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, those were fun. Did you ever play, um, Go on Mac? Did you ever play Joe and Mac? Oh, I did, yeah, That yeah. would be a good one for us to do. That's a good one, yeah. That's a co-op game. Yeah, Joe and Mac. Yeah, we should do that. Oh, that's a blast from the past. Yeah, and sp yeah. speaking of, like, uh, you know, caveman-themed games, plus that one's two-player at the same time, I'm pretty sure. I think. I don't remember. I think it's co-op. I remember... I always wonder if it had anything to do with Bonk, because it kind of reminded me of it with the oh, caveman theme. Yeah. you know, we should do, like, Bonk and Bonk's Revenge. Yeah. You know? Now we're just going through all the caveman <laughs> games. Caveman games, bring them out. Captain Caveman! <laughs> you remember him? I, I remember that. Nothing else about it. <laughs> yeah, that's all I remember too. Oh shit. Do you remember Captain Commando? No. Well, what was that? All I think Captain Commando is was when you open up the Capcom instruction manuals, like if you have the old Ghosts and Goblins instruction manual or something, he was the, like the Capcom mascot. Like basically they were trying to like make some kind of, you know. You know, you have a tattoo, right? I'm gonna get a tattoo of Captain Commando. There you go. Right on my forehead. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be cool. <laughs>